let me log in once again. So in order to run the PCM, okay, end to end scenario, then I will show you. Then one thing. So <clears throat> let me, okay, first let me show you what additional configuration, what I have done yesterday. This is important for you. So in yesterday, in yesterday when I was checking, bank communication management release strategy under release strategy additional release steps so here let me go here somebody did the configuration but it was uh, incompletion but again i did it not this one this one assign workflow template to the release procedure this release workflow procedure they did not assign so i have assigned here uh, so, but this somebody was already did, but this they did not do. Okay, but BNK underscore com, this is to be required. Only this additional step I have done. Apart from this, I did not do. And also, uh, BNK underscore Moni. Yesterday night also. So I am just trying to do some replicate scenario. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. You were okay, okay. You were only trying. Okay. Now you can see yesterday also I just I have created these two batches yesterday only. Okay, one is a thousand, another one is a ten thousand. Then in addition to this one, in addition so for, to this for, one. For for each document, it will generate a batch or for each total complete payment run. I mean here we Okay, can yeah. That. Yeah, Ravi. Now you have now you are on the track. Let's say mm -hmm. V3 are V V4 are working in same organization and the same department. Let's say. Okay. Yeah. So now you ran the payment. Okay. Just at uh, 750. Okay. Let's say. Okay. So now I ran the payment at 752. Then uh, Shankar ran, let's say 755. Then again uh, Mohanti ran at let's say at 8 o'clock. So there is a once the F110 will be performed, F110, F111, whatever it may be. There is a one transaction code which I am performing. It's a FBPM1, the merging. If you remember, yeah. FBPM1. So I'm merging this one. Okay, let it let it be displayed. So this activity, creation of cross payment run media. SAP. SAPAYM underscore merge. Okay, so now if this transaction code, see, I am going to schedule at every 15 minutes the job. Okay, so yeah. what will happen? So now the job which I have scheduled for every 15 minutes in the sense, again, let's say the job is going to run at 8.5. Okay, so now meanwhile, the four F110, we have we ran different uh, uh, for different payments. Okay, maybe different company codes, different vendors. So okay. what system does if the bank is the same bank? Remember, system is going to merge all the payments into one batch. Okay. Then it will generate a file. It will send to the bank. But the, uh, once the file, I mean once the once the FBPM1 will be done then it will trigger to the approval because uh, see approvals might be same right okay because yeah. if you are uh, for country wise because even you can think about if this could be happen for one country if it is a different country then approvals will be differ again for that there is a different uh, fbpm one we need to perform okay yeah. but if it is the same country approvals are the same then even four F110s will merge into one file. Then it will trigger to the approvers. Then once the approvers will approve, then it will generate the file. It's set to the bank. But run date identification should be same or different? No, no, no. It should be the same. Run date okay. identification. Okay. See, most are the cases, the run date and identification, we will not specify because 
this will be the dynamic selection see every run every time because we are not running manually this fbpm one what yeah. we will do we will schedule a back end job job yeah okay we will we will give the company code and the house bank and house bank okay then based on this combination then system will pick up and system will process the batch system will merge the batches and it will trigger for the approval yeah. okay fine so apart from this let me show you one more thing one important thing the approval process it should be if, if, uh, okay let me show you one important thing so there is a Okay, let me go to. Okay. So, let's say my requirement would be eh, as soon as once the BCM batch, once the FBPM one will be executed, then without approval, there could be there might be some business requirement. It should not trigger any workflow. Then directly it should go to the it should create the uh, file okay so that uh, xml file then it should send to the bank if that could be the requirement let me bank communication management release strategy make rule for automatic payments no approvals to be required just you just come here see now if you select this one for all these rules, the system will trigger the file automatically without approvals. If you if there could be a such a requirement, then system will automatically the I mean uh, it will not generate any file directly. It will trigger to the without approval. The file will generate and it will send to the bank. Okay, let's see this one now. Uh, F dash forty three. Let me post one document. Okay, let's say forty five thousand. Okay, four lakh fifty thousand BCM testing. Let me give the forty. simulate okay just for testing only then so now i have posted this document 009 slash n fbl 1n So now, one zero zero nine. Yeah, if you see, this is the document what I have posted now. So now, let me <coughs> run the payment for this document. Let me run. So, slash in. F one one zero. So yesterday night I ran it. So now what is the next payment run date? Nine eight I have given. Let me give that zero nine. Change this one also. Parameters. Payment method. Next payment run date. Let me give the tenth. Then vendor. Pay selection does not require. Then and save it. So now parameters are saved. Now let me run the proposal. Start immediate. Let it be payment medium also. At this level, so edit proposal. Let me select only the single document. 
seven nine zero zero nine. Why can't we take two line items? Yeah, even even we can select two also. We can select two also. Yeah, let me select two. I don't think these are all the documents. It's a different. What is this document? Let's see. Okay, KA only. Yeah. Vendor advanced adjustment. I think the second one, seventeen two. Yeah, yeah, I'm just checking that one. I'm just checking that one only. So what kind of posting is this? Even I am not sure. So ABC service, it's oh, a some advanced specific, yeah. specific GL. That Special is what uh, I think, you know, you can post one more invite. In, uh, yes, yes, one. that is what. Let me post, post it one and more. then uh, yes. delete the proposal and then wait. So, I mean, when the approvers getting the information, they will have each document level information and they will verify and then approve it. Yes, 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 that's it. That's it. Post. Okay, I'll give the document number. Change the amount here. Post this one, okay. Now let me remove this one. Save this one. Delete the proposal. Then let me run proposal once again. Then edit proposal. Okay, so let me select those two documents, these two. Yeah. Reallocate. City Bank, City Bank. Then select this one, reallocate. Save it. Come back and save once again. Come back. Now let me run the payment run. Then one generated, one is oh. completed. Okay. Payment then the payment run. One Let's see that one payment thing. run. You can see here. Five. Combined payment happened. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. That is what even what I was telling. Then, so as soon as once this will be done, what we need to do. So this is a single document what it has been posted. Let us see the master data level, what it will have the impact. Refresh. See now those two documents are already cleared. We don't see the document. OK, so it is already there. But you again this again, if you want to reverse this one again, there is a uh, one more action we need to. I mean, one there is a F dash 44, some transaction code it is there. Then we can do that one. Let's now. So now once this will be done. You can directly go and perform FDPM one. Or else, so this is the transaction code. What I was talking about. Let me go to the slash in FBPM one. Either directly you can come back and we can come back. We can run this one. Or else, in in ECC FBPM, are we using FBPM? Yes, FBPM one only, Ravi. Yes. In ECC. Yes, the same. ECC also the same. The process is the same. Only the approval process has been changed. Okay, instead of mapping the approval at a GUI level, now that approvers need to map at bank account level. Only that process has been changed. But apart yeah. from that, everything is same. Yeah. Okay. So now, either in order to generate the merge, then what you can do, either you can come here payment medium, cross payment media, create payment medium. Either you can perform from here directly or 
you can come here see the creation of cross payment run both are same let me trm i'm just giving the company code only enter See now, if you know that even if it's, I mean, for every time we we may not give right the run yeah. date and identification. If this could be the bad job, back end, yeah. then this cannot be possible because system yeah. should select dynamically. Correct, okay, yeah. so that is the reason I'm just removing this one. Then enter. Let me execute here. See now, as soon as once this will be done, then the batches are created. So which batch is created at this moment, we, we may not able to see. Once the approver BNK underscore app, if we go there, then the approver will identify the batch BNK underscore app. Then let's see that. Let's see. Uh, slash and BNK underscore Moni. What is the current status of this one? Paying company code. See now the batch number 18, what it has created, what you can yeah, see here. Correct. So the yeah. amount, you, you, so now here, please concentrate here. Here, this is the one important uh, thing here. So what we need to do, the payment medium created. So meaning that payment medium is created now it is ready to send ready to send to bank yeah. now approver see if you want to see the what is the history status history release history you can go and see if you double click this one double click this one you can see who is the vendor i mean what is the role id has been used id number then here uh, so when the payment document Okay, so now here posting date, due date, what is the payment method, which rule it has been, from which bank we made, what is the house bank payment method. Then one important thing here, how you can monitor the, in case the payment rejection. Okay, so go to the detailed option here, not this one. Okay, let me go here, double click this one. Select this one. There is a one option. Payment run. Payment run status history. What is the current status? Even we can create. See who has created. Batch created. Payment batch created. 